What is up, guys? We are at where are we? Poland. Poland Municipal Forest. About an hour drive from us. Never been here. Might as well check it out. <laughs> is that a trail? All right, we'll have to take a look at some of this stuff. Don't know nothing about this place, but we took vacation this week, and well, we're going to get out and do some shit. Not that nice of a day. I do think we will not get rain. But... It is a bunch of leaks, yes, son, but this place is super picky, I think, about being strictly on the trail. Not bad. It's a forward walk down there. I don't know. Ooh, it is chilly up here. Very richy tight neighborhood right outside that we had to drive through to get into here. Definitely looks like there's all kind of trails though. Lots of bluebells. Alright, this is where we are. Start hitting some trails. Uh, hour drive, so we're gonna hit quite a few of them here. As long as we don't get rained on. Yeah, those are definitely big leaks in there. Definitely a lot of bluebells, guys. Look at all this. I don't know. You want to stay on this main trail or take these little ones? They're just freaking trails everywhere. I know my dog's going to probably poop soon. I feel like it's not even a place for dogs to poop. Very nice. Yeah. Well, we came at the right time. going to be super tight. <laughs> yeah guys, we've been out in the woods a lot lately hunting mushrooms and not really having any luck, but this is all wild onion. Leaks, ramps, whatever. Wild onion. It's everywhere around here. But, this is not the place to be pulling plants, I don't think. A freaking humongous tree. Nice little river here. It's a little hollow. Yeah, look at that thing. Look at this thing, jeez. Freaking gnarly, man. Shit, you can see it's hollow all the way up in there. Guys, that tree is freaking giant. Look at the size of that thing. That's one of the bigger trees I've seen. I mean, look at the size of this freaking guy over here. Yikes. Pretty crazy. That would make a noise when it fell. They're doing work over here to a bridge. So I don't know if we can get anywhere or if this is a loop. You good, babe? Lots and lots of flowers. All different kinds of plants, too. Dude's cruising. Yeah, guys, so no camping. This week, or hell, I don't even know when. I'm in Ohio, as most of you know. 
and everything's closed down <clears throat> at least through May mid-May is when they like canceled everybody's reservations so maybe they'll open them back up I don't know what they'll do allow like every other site or just don't allow the bathrooms I really don't know little eating shelter there so we're just out doing little day trips when we can Which is what it is uh, I don't know probably might hang out in the camper tonight we're a little behind on all our camping YouTube channels so we'll watch that stuff tonight and maybe even cook our dinner inside the camper just uh, get a little feeling of camping hopefully by next weekend today's Tuesday it's supposed to be warm and rainy so maybe we'll get in some mushroom hunting do a video on that I mean we already have been hunting but we found one every time we went out went out twice and found she found one one day I found one the next this is kind of cool this thing is growing out of that tree pretty cool we hit a little side trail muddy as hell but it's keeping people from being on it so we'll try it for a while careful hon don't slip on that but we better film her in case she does she didn't these leaks man I'd be cooking with that shit daily if I lived right there mm -hmm. they are everywhere mm -hmm. they are everywhere and like this abundance of may apples that's not very common to see like the way this place is just everything is in mass So the trail is South Pine Trail, and then we'll hit that big rock, and then I want to check out that log cabin, and then we kind of did a bunch of this stuff. Still want to hit as much as we can here. We didn't know. We were looking for somewhere new to go today, and then we decided Brittany picked this one out. A lot better than your last pick, huh, Britt? So, this one's turned out pretty good. You never know. Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet. Gas is pretty freaking cheap right now, so. Filled up for like $19. So, it didn't cost us much to get here. So that's the South Pine, and this just must be the big rock. Super impressive. Huge. It'll rain. Yeah, these trilliums are blooming pretty good. They got a lot of these. A lot of them are white. Oh, here's another trail. Trails everywhere, huh, bay? So we are on the log cabin trail. It is confusing. Nothing's marked very well. I mean, I don't think you're going to get lost, but knowing where you're at isn't real easy. But it's not big enough place to really get lost. 250 acres, I think I said the whole place was. 
Uh, there is no log cabin. There's no, I don't think even sign of a log cabin anymore. Still trucking along here, guys. Sun's come out. Warmed up quite a bit now. Feels pretty good. Got down into a t-shirt. We're pretty much done. Kinda, I think. I really don't even know what trail we're on right now, but... Look at that. Freaking huge. Look at that. Giant. Is that a big old swath of bees? You probably can't see it, but right where that branch lies out. Right there. Could be. There's a lot of things flying there. Look like bees. Alright, guys, I can't help but look for mushrooms. Smells while we're out. I did mean to bring you guys. A couple of the hunts, although they were unsuccessful and it wouldn't have made a video anyway. But if I can remember the damn GoPro, I will take you along. This weekend's supposed to be nice, so I'm sure we'll get out, but unfortunately I'm sure everyone else will too. I like to look where bark falls off trees. All right, that went nowhere, so we turned around. Just dead ended it into the river there, and then looked like it was gonna maybe go up that way, but it didn't. So we turned around. A lot of little weird trails here. But we're in no hurry. We got all week. If we take long enough, mushrooms will start growing. Guys, if you never have hunted mushrooms, morels are the almost the easiest. I mean, super easy to identify, but they're the most prized also. So you'll see a lot of people out hunting them. What? Mushroom. Feel like they gotta be out. Hmm. Guys, I gotta do a review on these. These Vortex Diamondback HD binoculars. They've definitely been helping, like, with mushroom hunting. I mean, I haven't spotted one per se with them, but. It's super easy to look at land that you don't, you know, you don't have to walk everywhere. You can kind of look at an area and see if it has potential. And they're definitely crystal clear enough to spot them. I need to do a review on these. I haven't figured out how to do it though. But they are super good. I highly suggest these. I've had them for not even a year yet, but super good warranty and just crystal clear they're about just a little over i think you get these about 230 bucks so not cheap but it's one and done so totally worth it so i'm going to say there's one good thing to have a nice thing is you know get a nice set of binoculars i use them i take them every time with me when i'm hiking look at birds look at plants look at fish in the water I like them. All right, guys, we are getting back here to the sign where we came in. We didn't park right here. We parked further down, but it's kind of a wrap on this. We probably will eat lunch in the parking lot really quickly and then head home. Mess around with the camper. I'm trying to organize it, but I had to order a bunch of stuff, so I can't do a whole lot, but really cool park. Maybe I'll just link the camper fun into this too, that whatever we do tonight. But for now, 
Thanks for watching. It's down and dirty right out of the back of the truck. Easy and we're hungry. Ham and cheese sandwiches. Got some pickles, tea. Turned out to be a pretty nice day. A lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be.